In this Stormworks Basic tutorial, we're going to be working on an RGB light dimmer. All right, so we'll start making this RGB controller. So the first thing we're going to start with is an RGB light. So make sure you grab the right one, RGB light. And we'll put that. Next thing we want is a panel. And this is going to control our lights. So there'll be a little light panel. All right, and we can get rid of this extra block. All right, good. So we have our light and our panel. Next thing we want to do is set up our panel. So the first thing we're going to do is this is going to be C1, so that's going to go from off to color 1. In our case, we're going to do two colors, color 2, and then off. So first press will be color 1, second press will be color 2, third press will go off. So it's just a looping button. So we'll do button press 1. Now 2 is going to be light brighter. All right, so light's brighter. It's going to be an arrow button going up. It's going to be a push, channel 2. This is going to be, uh, we're not going to use anything on three. And for four, it's going to be lights dimmer. And it's going to dim our lights. This will be an arrow button going down. This is going to be a push as well. That's going to be channel four. All right, so the next thing we need to do is add a microcontroller. So you can go up the microcontroller here and uh, make one. Or what I'll do is I have one called blank. So I'm just going to put a blank microcontroller here. And we'll go ahead and we'll click on the microcontroller and we'll name it RGB light dimmer. All right, and we'll make it too wide. So we need two logic nodes here. So we need a composite input that's going to come from our panel. And we need a composite output that goes to our lights, RGB lights. And so you can connect this to as many lights as you want and it will control it. All right, so let's go into the logic. And first thing we're going to do is we want to set up the looping button. So what this do, will do is that every time we press 1, it will go from channel 1 to channel 2 to off. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to read on off, and channel 1 is what our button is. Next thing we need is a pulse. What this will do is even if we hold down the button, it's only going to give us one press per press. So it's not going to allow us to hold the button and let it keep looping. Because if you tap the button, you might actually get two presses. This gives us one press. Next thing we want, up, down, counter. So when we press this button, we want to just go to the up. Let's go ahead and the up down counter. So the increment is one. So every time I press the button, I want one count up. Reset value is going to be zero. Zero is the lights off. I'm going to enable the clamp. Minimum is zero. Maximum is going to be one more than the number of colors we want. So in this case, we're doing colors one and two. So we're going to go to three. All right. Then we want to go to a threshold. And we want to go to three, three. And what this is going to do is when this counts up to three, it's going to trigger this threshold, which will trigger the reset and go back to zero. So it'll be one, two, three. And as soon as we hit three, it will go back to zero and it will loop us. All right, good. So that first section's done. So next thing we do is we're going to set up the dimmer. So channel two is going to be brighter and channel four is going to be dimmer. So these both get plugged into the panel. We need another up down counter. This time, we're going to be holding the button down to either make it brighter or dimmer. So we don't need a pulse because we intend to hold it down, but we need a small number. So I'm going to do 0.005. So every time that I, this is going to take me 20 presses to get to 100. And so if I hold the button down, it will keep repeating the press and it will bring it all the way up to bright. If I hold it down, it will go all the way to dim. So we'll, uh, reset value is going to be, we're going to do 0.5. Uh, a maximum number of one is max brightness. Zero is completely dim. And so 0.5 is about in the middle. So we're going to start with about a middle brightness. The minimum value, we're actually going to do 0.1 instead of zero. And the reason is if you dim the light all the way down, you wouldn't be able to tell if the light is actually off or if it's just really dim. So this will keep the light on just a little bit. Max will be one. That will be max brightness. So we'll plug in two to the up. And we'll plug in four to the down. So this will be our dimmer. So the dimmer is all set now. All right, the next thing we do is grab some property numbers. And I'll show you in a second why we, I use the property numbers. All right, and so we're going to name this one C1 for color one. And this is R for the red value of RGB. RGB is red, green, and blue. All right, and so we'll line a couple of these up. So we'll line up three of them. And this will be G and b so colors uh color one rgb all right and we're going to do two colors here so let's go ahead and we'll copy all these 
and we'll paste them there. All right, so we have those colors. And so I'll show you why I like the properties. Is So for example, if I am just in the here and I click on the microcontroller, it allows me to change the colors out here. I don't have to actually go in the panel and find them to change the colors. So what we'll do is we'll go to the paintbrush and we're going to pick this white color as our white. So it's 255, 255, 255. So let's go ahead and click on this. So color one is white, 255, 255, 255. Go back to paintbrush. We want red as our second color in this case. It's going to be 14300. And let's click on it. 14300. You can change your colors at will without having to go on the panel. So now let's go back in the panel. All right. So we have our colors, as you can see. We did them from outside with the property numbers. They're all done. All right, good. So the next thing we need is a formula. So we're going to do function. And I'm going to pick this one, X, Y, Z. All right. And so from here, what we want to do is we want to go take this color and we put it in X. And then we're going to make our formula. So this is going to be parentheses X. X is our color times Y. Y is our intensity. And then we're going to divide the whole thing by 255. All right, good. And then we can copy these through for each of these blocks. And let's try to get these lined up. All right, and so we'll go plug these in. So what this is doing is it's multiplying it out to give us the intensity that we need so that we can dim our lights. So we're plugging all these into the X value. Y value is going to be the, the Y value is right here. That is the dimness. I actually need to make sure that's enabled. All right, so this is our dimmer. The Y is our dimmer. So we're going to go ahead and plug that into the Y node for all of these. All right, so that gives us our uh, how bright or dim our light's going to be. Next thing we need to do is we need to convert these bright or dim colors into composite signals so that we can go ahead and uh, send them to our light. So we want to do composite right number. There are three channels, one, two, three. One is R, two, G, three, B. So RGB right there, and we'll plug them in, R, G, and B. We'll copy this, and we'll do this for each color. You know, even if you want to add a ton of colors, you can copy all of this, and it would be quick. R, G, and B. Okay, good. So we have two colors, and they're all they're able to be dimmed now, so that's good. Next thing we need to do is we need to do some composite switch boxes. So we'll just do switch and right here, we have composite switch box. If you feed no composite signal in, you're going to have your light off. So that's going to be your starting values off. When I turn on my first switch box, it's going to be my first color, in this case, white. All right, now we have two colors. So I'm going to do another one. This is going to pass this one through to the off value. And then we're going to plumb in the second color right here. All right, so this is going to be off, white, red. All right, and then we want to pass that out to our lights. So as you can see here, we take the RGB lights, plug it in there. Next, we need a way to switch these boxes. So we're going to switch these boxes with our up-down counter here. So we need some thresholds. So I'm going to do two thresholds. All right, the first threshold is going to be 1-1. One, one. That's channel 1, which will give us our first color. And this is channel 2, which will give us our second color. So 1 and 2. One is going to go right here, and that is going to kick that first switch box from off to white. This one here is going to kick our next switch box from either off or white to red. So that's going to loop that up. All right, so we're going to go ahead and update this. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to hook these up. So we have the panel. We have the composite that goes into the panel. Then we have the RGB lights. Uh, you plug this into as many lights as you want. So in this case, we have one light. If you had multiple lights, you'd plug it in there. So let's go ahead and spawn it. I have infinite electricity on, so I don't need to plug it into electricity. And as you see, we get white. That's at 50% intensity. So if I hold down the brighter, as you can see, the light gets brighter. If I hold down the dimmer, the light gets dimmer. And as you can see, it, it's hard to tell if it's on, but it's barely on. And that will let us know that we, if we want to shut it off, we need to go through. So here's red is our second color. And we dim that and press one more time and it's off. So let's say we wanted to change a color. Let's say we want to change uh, red to blue. 
So let's find a blue we like. And that is going to be 0, 89, 255. So 0, 89, 255. We'll spawn that. And now we should be able to have blue lights. So there's white and there's blue. And as you can see, we can dim or make brighter the blue light. So this will be in the workshop. You guys can go ahead and use this. Uh, this is a new video. The last one, I made a mistake in there and uh, with my formula. And so this is the updated version. So hope you guys found that helpful. And I'll see you in the next one.